and we're live from Tacklebreeze. Rupert Ellis talking to you today about strategy, tactics, and the SIG P320. So, um, it's strange for me because uh, I, I perceive that the US military will have, have gone to uh, extreme lengths to make sure that the next uh, gun that's adopted by your US military is the right tool for the, for the job. You know, money is no object when it comes to buying these guns at the end of the day. So when uh, the SIG uh, P320, uh, of which this is one, the gun's unloaded, okay, when this gun was selected, because um, we had a good look at the gun and we found it to be a pretty well-made gun. And we've sold a whole load of them to people who haven't had a problem with them. So how much trouble have people gone to to kind of throw this gun around in order to try and make the gun fail? But here's the real world. Um, I'm just going to show you another gun, uh, just while I'm here as well, just to show you that this gun is clear and unloaded as well. Okay, so this is a, a P229. As you can see, this gun is a hammer gun. I'm just going to uh, use the decocking lever to decock it. So in the real world, not in uh, PlayStation, not in Tour of Duty, not uh, if you're a combat veteran or if you're a badge holder, but in the real world, if you're a civilian and you're gonna have a gun in your life for personal protection, here's my question to you. What's your strategy? And what's your strategy? Because if you haven't got a strategy, having a piece of plastic and metal like this in your life is gonna cause you more problems than enough. Because we don't just suddenly have a gun in our life and all of our self-defense problems are over because, hey, look, I, I have a firearm and everything's great. And reality, life just isn't like that. So if you're going to have a gun in your life and you really mean that you need it for your own personal protection, then you need to have some sort of plan on how you're going to deploy it and how you're going to use it. So just to uh, eject the empty magazine uh, from this uh, empty uh, seat. If you were, say, an Israeli and you lived in a war zone that is Israel and you were doing your national service, as all men do for two years and women do for one year, um, the IDF would spend about uh, 28 days teaching you how to draw your weapon and chamber around so that you could discharge it. Because if you live in a war zone, you can't walk around with a gun chamber, with a ground chamber anyway. Because what basically happens is somebody walks up behind you, takes your gun, shoots you, shoots your friends, and then walks off with the gun. So the Israelis know that, so they've developed a whole strategy on how to draw, chamber around, and discharge it. it looks kind of fluid, doesn't it? I've kind of practiced that, but only a lot, because guns are in my life, so it's important to practice, because what we do in practice is what we're gonna do in the real world. So I ask you again, what's your strategy? What's your strategy? You've got a gun, you must have a strategy on how you're gonna use it. And I would wager that if you're a fella just again to show you this gun is unloaded. If you're a, gun, a fellow that's going to carry a, a, a weapon with a round chambered, like this on this really excellent made SIG, at this point, because it's double action for your first round, you can drop the hammer on a live round in the chamber, and then when you actually come to discharge the round, double action for your first round. That's probably how somebody would carry a gun if they were going to carry a gun with a round chambered. But a, a striker-fired weapon, probably not. Remember, the Israelis have kind of 28 days of this, 28 days of this, just to load their gun that they're gonna be carrying for two years as a duty weapon. And then here we are asking about what your strategy is, and I'm guessing that you probably haven't got one. So the whole SIG 3, uh, P320 thing, there's a whole lot of people behind the scenes conspiring to make SIG look bad. And you know what, I have no love in my heart for SIG as an organization, although I do like their guns. I just think that, you know, in the real world, um, guns discharging by accident, I don't know, there's a bigger story going on here. However, talking about strategy aside, for those of you that do have a SIG P320 and you're concerned about it, SIGSOUR.com forward slash support. There is a voluntary upgrade program from SIGSOUR. Okay, so if you're concerned about your SIG and you want to have it upgraded, and I understand that's free of charge, Mr. Six Hour has decided to allow you to do exactly that on your P320, okay, because they're a, a, they're a decent manufacturer who stands behind their product. So if you go to sigsour.com forward slash support forward slash P320 voluntary upgrade program, or if you just Google Six Hour voluntary upgrade program, uh, it'll give you the information there that you need in, a, in order to be able to return your gun back to SIG to have the, uh, the trigger upgraded so that you're not going have that problem but in the meantime I challenge you today I challenge you have a strategy if you have a gun in your life please give some thought as to how you're actually going to use it and discharge it because life just isn't the same as going to the range and picking it up and shooting it at a paper target at 10 yards All right, if you're going to rely on a gun for self-defense have a plan have a plan and practice it
has been Rupert talking to you from Tackle Reese. SIG, decent manufacturer. Um, get in touch with them, yeah.